Thank you for choosing Del Taco. This is Vessa speaking. How you doing today? Yes. Cheeseburgers. Got it. Yes. Start of a new day, a new me, 2020, and I'm only eating cheeseburgers for the next month. This is a Whopper? Y'all already know, I love Burger King. Mm. Girth, volume, flame broiled. I don't even understand how they do that. Do they have a smoker? I don't question it. <laughs> Consistent, always the same. No! <laughs> Best pickles too. It's the foundation of the king of burgers. They are what burgers used to supposed to should have been. First thing I'm looking at here with this burger is that the meat does not fill the bun. Point taken away. I think that this burger is very lucky. It has so many toppings. Oh God, I want to be positive so bad. You don't want to be positive with Burger King. Let's leave it to that. They, they know what they are. Whoa, this smells weird. It is different. Kind of looks like a bean product. It smells like soy. With smoke. Eh? Mushier consistency. I'm a little concerned on uh, it smells. It's still tasting like fake meat. It definitely smells like not meat. No. <laughs> it's not meat. No. If you pile condiments on this, it could be okay. So first on my list will be the Whopper, and the second on my list will be the Impossible Whopper. That's meat flavored bread. It's like a wet loaf. Whopper number one. Impossible Whopper. You get the bottom. You ain't need number two. More cheeseburgers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Big Mac. <laughs> you keep smelling it. Quarter pounder. It's as if you knew without reading that it says it right on top. Quarter pounder with cheese. Stats on the screen. Papa. Ketchup, mustard, pickles, thick, raw slices of harsh white onion, <laughs> leaving a bitter taste in your mouth. Your boy don't like raw onion on a burger, so for that reason, I'm taking it off. No, you gotta leave it on. You left it on on the Burger King stuff. Oh yeah. The trick is, how do you take a bite without eating an onion? It's very hard to do. I feel like this meat just looks a little bit better. You don't like it. I like this one. Yeah? Yeah, like, I think you're a hater. It'd be hard to blind taste test this. Are you going to? Should I? Big Mac stats on the screen, Papa. Beef patty, pickles, middle bun, lettuce, mac sauce, dehydrated onion. There it is. Oh, you're supposed to eat it upside down. Did you, did you take a big enough bite? Hey, this is pretty good. You ate the entire sandwich. As a child, I hated it, but now as an adult, this is fantastic. Doesn't beat Burger King, though. I'm gonna put the quarter pounder first, and then the Big Mac. I'm keeping Whopper at the top, Big Mac underneath, then the quarter pounder, then the Impossible. Bottom, you're the bottom. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's nothing better than the dollar menu. We're off for the burger journey. It's the best journey for meat. We made it. The Texas Ride Chicken. There it is. You get a double cheeseburger too. Jules, that one's got lamb in it. Fried chicken and pizza. They got pizza here too? Yeah, see, look at it. They got pizza. We can't eat that. They've got like every type of fast food here. Is it to go? Yeah, to go, please. To go? Yeah. New Texas Fried Chicken Cheeseburger. Bam! Stats on the screen. Oh no, it's got onion on it. Look at these big pickles. You got tomato. That burger looks fresh. Smells good, looks good. I'm about to say, maybe I'm gonna hop to Texas Fried Chicken and get some burgers. Oh yeah. I like everything about this. The pickles, mm, I am impressed. I'm gonna have to put it above a Big Mac. I am actually gonna put it at number one. The toppings on it are fresh to death and that tomato slice was so good. Hey, I really enjoyed that Texas Fried Chicken. Holy hell was that not terrible. Let's get some cheeseburgers for JP. Oh. <laughs> I'm guessing by the weight in my hand that that's not the Baconator. Oh, that is a large, large white onion. Those pickles look awesome. It's like perfectly square. I mean, this is a Baconator with vegetables, minus bacon and all the fun stuff. I'm actually surprised how much I like the way that this meat looks, but I think that's because I'm comparing it directly to what we've eaten today. You're like a secret spy burger lady. Oh my God. I am so surprised. This challenge is really opening my mind to make me understand how much better Wendy's is than every single other burger. Wendy's is at the top. Square is better. I'm telling you, it's something about those sharp edges. It's got the perfect fat content. Wendy's, number one. Dave single? You're not single anymore. <laughs> All right. Of course I love you. You like Dave? 
No, I hate, I don't even know Dave like that. I thought you did. You always are obsessed with his Baconator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still burping up the Impossible Whopper. Is I'm that what it is? Yeah, that's what I've been burping up all day. It smells like ice cream here. I just stare at this. Can we do it eating only ice cream for 24 hours? You want to get a job? The culture's the lux. Yo, why does every burger have to have onions on it? Even Dave's single has it. I love the yellow packaging it comes in. It makes me hungry for cheese. Comes with your standard toppings, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, ketchup, what? Wow, that looks different. It's almost like it's been fried. It's like a sear or some sort of film. It's almost like a skin. I mean, it's good, it's juicy, it's greasy. Kind of reminds me of Jack in the Box. The meat here, it tastes better. I kind of wish I had the Wendy's burger right next to this so I could taste it next to it. Like, now we're verging like very close in quality. I'm surprised, but this is better than Wendy's. Where do you rank it? I rank it at the top. It's just better meat, it's better flavor, it's better everything. It's so good, I don't even mind that I got mayonnaise on my nipple. You wanna go to Dollar General? They probably got burger there. No. This looks like a BK Junior Whopper. I like the artificial flavor that hits my throat. It looks a lot like McDonald's meat, but it doesn't taste like it. Oh no. It kinda has like that weird fake feeling. Should've taken a smaller bite. You're like Burger King, but just not as good. So I'm gonna throw you right underneath that. It goes just about Burger King. What's better, the Baconzilla or the Baconator? Well, we're gonna find out. Wendy's toast, nice. Checkers toast, kind of like a soggy mess. Checkers, you get a point for bacon. Pretty obvious, not as much meat. Which one is more expensive? Which one's gonna kill you faster? <gasps> is he gonna like the checkers more? It's very touching. It seems very like you're gonna cry. No, it's very touching. It feels so good. Wow, I never had this before. It's flavorful. Now for the Baconator. It's like biting into an old friend. That is your favorite sandwich. This thing tastes dry, kinda. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it. I gotta give it to Checkers. The bacon's better. The ratio of meat to bun better. Having the cheese sauce is better. I'll eat that all day. Number one? Number one. Where's their bacon eater going? Under it. This one is so good, it's more at the top of my list. This one is below the other Wendy's. Think about coming in first place. That's how I feel when I get Checkers. Hashtag not sponsored. And I also have to go to bed because we're gonna be eating a lot of burgers tomorrow. Do you think eating this much beef is unhealthy for yes, you? Yes, it's <laughs> very unhealthy. Go beyond 100% plant-based patty. Let's see if it beats the Impossible Burger. Julia, that looks like what you taught me when you make the bed. Oh my goodness, it's like Burger King. They do like the flame broil. But it doesn't feel like the same texture. It almost seems a little bit more meaty. Onion is on there again. Oh. Please remain calm. Oh my God. Yeah? Whoa. Whoa. It tastes like a burger. That's like the best Beyond Meat burger I've ever had. It is meat. No, it's not. Oh my God, it's not meat. Thick burger, bam, the stats. The Beyond is much more expensive. It costs to be Vegetarian? That is a massive burger though. It fills the bun and it's thick. It's like generic, it tastes like Texas. It is like Texas. They clearly look different. Beyond on top? Yep. Just the way it likes to be. I think Beyond's better. Invest in Beyond stock. I probably can't say that. The thick burger is going to be right above New Texas Fried Chicken and I am going to be putting the Beyond burger right underneath the Baconzilla. I'm gonna go with Julia. I think the Beyond, that's third. I put the thick burger above Texas. Hardee's seems a little bit like Better put together. I love you, New Texas. You were a surprise. I need more meat. That's why we're going to Sonic. Do they have bathrooms here? Wow, I want everything on this menu. Dude, let's dine and dash. Grab the burgers and peel out. That's a nickel. I know. Have y'all ever wanted to know what Sonic looks like? We're gonna find out. Let's not get kicked out of here though, okay? Okay. I just, I've never seen the inside of a Sonic before. I thought it was really cool. Okay. Oh, this might be my food. Should I help you? Should I bring that out for you? I'm gonna fall asleep and I'm gonna be like hamburger. Sonic burger. Bam! Advertisement. They know how to build it. Then look at the back. <laughs> I'm so not hungry right now. Let's eat. Look at the ridged pickles. We like them ridged. The edges are like charred. There's no onion on this one. 
I get the MSG. It looks like every single thing we've eaten for the past like 12 hours now. I like the service, I love the people, and I like the atmosphere. But I just wouldn't get a burger. Maybe a tad better than McDonald's. Under Texas fried chicken. Burger King should have the best burger. That's it what I'm trying to say. Totally does. It totally doesn't. What? What is that? It's got a, like a giant ice cream sitting down. Oh my god! You should get, go in there and film that. Can I go in? Do you think that they're gonna open? Wow! It's open. Oh my goodness. Uh oh! I don't know how to get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god! How do I get out of here? All right, that was terrifying. Del Taco in Florida? I didn't know. I didn't know either. That was terrifying. Ooh, yeah, that looked like McDonald's. That's more like McDonald's than the other McDonald's. It's McDonald's. -y. It's McDonald's. -y. Oh, that is the saddest looking burger we've Ew, seen so far. Ew, I don't want to eat this at all. This is not going to be the best, I can tell. But is it going to be the worst? Oh, those pickles look sad too. It's like a meat saucer. It's like a dollar menu burger. Looks like it's good from your face there, no? It looks like the veggie burger. Oh, that's awful. That is beyond bad. It tastes like sour salt. Del Taco shows up, it's just at the bottom. I would eat the Impossible Whopper over that. A&W is the quintessential fast food burger. Think about it, root beer, America, A&W. I have a feeling this one's gonna be number one. You have a good one. Bam, pop a burger. Looks just as good as the picture, ooh. Wow, this is really good. It is good? Maybe it's the sauce. Whoop. Tastes like a Big Mac. A&W is going on my list right above Hardee's. You're going above Hardee's, but they're so similar. I would say if you're craving a burger, you go to A&W, Hardee's, Texas, Sonic, basically the same thing. Now it's just down to personal preference. And I think what elevates this one is the sauce. And the bun. Pretty good though. That's the crystal that's always open, but looks always closed. Here they are. Mustard, onions, cheese. The burger patty is different than White Castle. It doesn't have the signature three holes in it. This is stepchild castle, that's what it is. Redneck castle. They don't put ketchup on it. It just dissolves in your mouth. Like, you don't really even have to chew this burger. I think it's pretty good. I like the onion on it. I don't even need ketchup on it. It's a solid slider. I would eat a crystal over a and I'm gonna put it under a and One more burger left. Never have to eat a burger again, except for tonight. What's wrong? You tired? I'm so full. Do you want? Do you want me to eat the burger for you? I'm just taking a nap. Get up. And that's what these challenges put me through. <laughs> Gary Queen Burger, bam, on the screen. Oh, that onion. It's huge. It's just a big onion piece. It's just so big. Those pickles look good. It's like BK, it's got the grill marks. Kind of looks like Beyond Meat. Does it look like Beyond Meat? I like the bun, it's got like the little butt crack on the bun. I don't think I could win at a blind taste test at this point. They all look the same. I honestly don't like this one that much. No, no. It's very like dense and not juicy and firm. It's still stuck in my like esophagus. But see a burger like this, you need to put a lot of stuff on it to really disguise like the actual meat part portion of it. It just doesn't have much flavor. There you go, you're above Del Taco. You just made it. My problem is that the potato dough just like sticks to the outside of your teeth and you gotta like Okay, what is this place? Dairy Queen. <laughs> Did you forget? I'm gonna put Dairy Queen above Burger King. It should be Burger Queen and Dairy King. <laughs> You're gonna blind taste test 14 burgers. Comment right now. Guess how many out of the 14 he's gonna get right. Just comment the number. Okay, let's go do the blind taste test. Are you really gonna start with the hardest one? Yeah, here you go. I just got that flame, you got that broil. It's got that Burger King all over it. Nope. Crystal. Correct. Too easy. Very nasty by itself, by the way. It's so, like, flame broily in my mouth. That's gotta be Burger King. It's Burger King. It was Burger King? How small this one. It's got no flavor, no salt. It ain't good. I'm gonna go with A&W. Nope. 
comes. It's girthy, big, tastes frozen. Dairy Queen? Yes. I almost said no, <laughs> but it is. Getting that like smoky flavor coming in. I'm gonna go Sonic. No. Oh, no. Impossible Whopper, impossibly bad. There you go. A little girth going on. That one's a hard one. It tastes like Hardee's. I already got Hardee's. No, you didn't. That was the last time. Oh, I that is that. Hardee's? I'm getting that MSG coming in. I'm getting that McDonald's feel. Specific. Quarter pounder. That's right. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's got, I think that's A&W. Yep. It is? Yep. Bam. All right, you're almost done. You got three more. You ready for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to be on from Hardee's. Ready? Mm-hmm. They just scorch the crap out of the burgers, don't they? That's Sonic. It's all up here from here. This is one more. One more? What have I not said yet? It's gotta be Culver's. That's the last one, right? Ding, 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 ding. Good job, JT. I did it. Plot twists. We're not done. Dude, 465 for six? This is the best deal. My castle! And Crystal. This is White Castle? No. This is White really Castle. Hot. Yeah. But which one's better, Crystal or White Castle? Tastes the same. They're the same thing. What? No. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my White Castle at the top. It beats everything. I would do either or, but I think I would go White Castle. So there's a new list, guys. White Castle's at the top. I hope I'm not sick of this. Only eating mochi ice cream for 24 hours. And then only eating popsicles for 24 hours. And then only eating chocolate for 24 hours. Oh my god, Julia. And then only eating cake. <laughs> only eating frozen pizzas for 24 hours. <laughs> There's so many things.